You would think that the most popular phone announced at the beginning of the year would be a beastly flagship, but by judging by the crowd and the look of these people's faces when they're holding this phone in their hands, it could be the total opposite. This is the Nokia 3310. Yup, they're bringing it back this year. This is a blast from the past, the tank that you couldn't break, and the battery that would just last forever. I used to own one of these, so the nostalgia factor has a huge draw to me wanting one of these, and doesn't look like I'm the only one. In 2017, it's weird to hold a phone that could fit in the palm of your hand. This isn't the exact same design, it's a little sleeker and updated just enough, but they kept it a feature phone, so don't expect anything crazy out of this. The display is a color 240 by 320 TFT. It sounds worse than it actually looks. It's not touchscreen though. All the navigation is on these three buttons below it. Super simple. And if you want to text, you're going to have to bring your old T9 typing game back, which I was never too good at, so I'm doomed. You can play games on here. Surprisingly, there is a gaming section with more than just Snake, and there's even Asphalt. I'm not even sure how good this is going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be terrible, but Snake is an absolute classic, so I just played this for about 10 minutes standing here. It's not the exact same Snake, but updated, and one-handed gaming is real, folks. It felt really good doing it too, I'm not going to lie. You charge it by micro USB. There's a speaker next to the 2 megapixel camera. Yep, you heard that right, 2 megapixels and a single LED flash. When you remove the back cover, you have a 1,200 milliamp hour battery, which they said can give you up to 22 hours of talk time, 51 hours of music playback, and over a month of standby. Man, can you imagine this type of battery life now on a smartphone today? It's so incredible. The camera does work, but it's super slow. You're going to need a micro SD card because it comes with 16 megabytes of internal storage. And you can expand that up to 32 gigabytes. That is not a smudge camera. That is just what it looks like. It's like jumping on a time machine when you look at life on this lens. That's about it. A simple, basic nostalgic handset in 2017. As simple as they come, but something really makes me want this. This little 12.8 millimeter thick blast from the past can be yours soon too. It comes in four different colors, but I really like this dark blue matte finish that I have here. The pricing I think is 50 euros, so for us it could be right around $70. If they release it worldwide, then I'm definitely getting one. I would love to test the durability, and I would also love to challenge myself to use this for a month. What do you think? Let me know what you guys think of the Nokia 3310. Smack that like button if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys soon.